we're getting three early easy A's that JP just got on Tanabata, what, like a month or two ago? Like within this last month, I should say. The Tanabata celebration that they just ended. We're getting those easy A's that we didn't think we were going to be seeing for six plus months, potentially. We had no idea. And now we're getting them early. So not only are we getting insanely broken units, but these are going to be 90 dragon stones total, if you really want to look at that as well. Uh, but yeah, the, I'm going to look at the kits today. We're going to dive into Jiren. Frieza in 17, and the Universe 7 team, Android 17, MVP. I imagine these EZAs are going to look crazy. But yeah, these EZAs all drop on August 8th, guys, at midnight. So looking at the calendar here, literally in a week. Basically the 7th in a sense, you know what I mean? So like tonight, you know what I mean? They'll be dropping next week. Yeah, guys, on global. On global, bro. 99 Dragon Stones. Is it 99? Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, because you get the missions. I forget. Starting with Jiren. Let's see this. 300% attack and defense. Good lord. Uh, oh, he actually has a usable lead. Oh, he has the 170 before. Anyways, 30% damage reduction for one turn, plus an additional 100 attack and defense and guard if HP is over 40. If HP gets below 80 at the start of the turn, starting from the fifth turn from the character's entry, or if HP is 40... Starting from, oh, at any point, um, plus an additional 200% attack and defense. Oh my god, dude. So it's starting from the fourth turn below 80 or just starting from, or just when you blo drop before four, below 40. Okay, okay. Good lord, 500%. Uh, key plus three with each attack received. Launches an additional super starting from the turn that he re receives a third attack in battle. Very nice, so gonna be popping a lot of supers always effective against all types performs a crit when the unit is tacked down or defense down you could see that and he also disables enemies actions once every turn on the 24 that's really good dude you're gonna be breaking an attack every time you hit a 24 key oh i always mean to start with these but they're on the bottom massively massively raising attack and defense on the ultra holy crap holy crap dude and then he's greatly raising on the super. Dude, this guy's gonna look stupid, bro. 500%? And then you're also gonna be massively raising? What are the stats on this Jiren gonna be? Uh, and then he's also got an active skill that can be activated after receiving five attacks. You get 30% uh, attack and defense and all allies, or all enemies, minus 30. Oh, and you stun if you're able to, nice. I've literally, guys, my entire career, two years of playing Dokkan, I've never used this unit. I have him, but he's never been usable or had a team to run him on. So, yeah, this will be my first time ever running him. All right, Jiren doesn't look too, too crazy, but it looks wild. You can't deny that, bro. 300% going up to... Oh, wait, I didn't even read this. It's 600%. I skipped over this. He gets an additional 100 and guards all attacks when HP is 40% or more. Yo, I skipped a very important line in Jiren's kit. Hold up. If we're over 40, which we should be... We're going to be guarding as well. And 100, uh, an extra 100. Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. So he's going up to like 600%. You're not going to be first slotting him because you're going to massively raise that, bro. What is this guy going to be doing in stats? I don't think this guy's... I don't think this guy's to be underestimated. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Probably not the best of the three, but looks insane. I, I can't imagine what this guy's stats are going to be looking like. This is interesting, though. The HP threshold. But regardless... I'm excited to use him. Excited to finally use the Jiren. All right, next up we've got Golden Frieza and 17. I've basically used zero of these Tournament of Power units. They've all been pretty much unusable in my time playing Dokkan. So very excited for all these easy A's. All these easy A's. Ugh, excuse me, it's 2 a.m. Um, or 1:30. Let's take a look at this though. Attack and defense plus 177. Key plus seven. 50 percent damage reduction for one turn. Uh, two attacks, each of which has a high chance to super. Uh, additional super attack with a great chance of performing a crit when HP is above 70, uh, below 77. Key plus one, uh, oh, we won't stray away yet. Or now. Key plus one up to seven, plus an additional 11 up to 77 with each, with each attack performed. Okay. And then key plus one and an additional 20 attack and defense with each attack performed. Oh, with each super. So you have to attack for this, super for this. Okay. But so I imagine every super will cover both of these, obviously. Chance of performing a crit plus 17 and an additional 17% with each attack performed. So that's how they're going to be. So basically, you're trying to super as much as you can with them within the turns. Okay, that makes sense. So 
damn it, they're all... So assuming you get... Let's say all of these popped. You're getting four super attacks based off of this, right? So you can get up to like... I don't even know what that is. 17, 24... 48% damage reduction if you got four supers? What is he doing, though? Greatly raising attack and defense. Okay. On the ultra, and then massively raising attack. Oh, that kind of sucks, though. So, all of those extra supers, you're not raising defense. I, I guess he doesn't need it, in a sense, because of the damage reduction. Why do these guys look slightly underwhelming? Am I crazy in saying that? Am I crazy in saying that? They are guaranteed at least 51% damage reduction every turn. Oh, I guess with each attack performed. You're right, you're right, never mind. With each, You're right, because that's not with each super. Where is this? Oh, no, you're right, never mind, never mind, you're right, you're right. Because they're guaranteed performing the attacks. Never mind, that's a good point, that's a good point. Never mind, never mind, that's true, that's true. So they are guaranteeing the... Because this is not supers, it's just attacks, they are guaranteeing the damage reduction. That's a good point. Still, though... We've seen it with the, um, we just saw it with Zamasu. Like, you can be at 60% damage reduction. If you're not raising your defense, the damage reduction is not doing shit for you. I'm skeptical on them. I I'm very, I'm sure they're going to be great. But, like, if even if you are getting to 50% damage reduction and you're getting all your super attacks off, what's the point? Your defense is only going to be as high as it's going to be, right? I'm sure they're going to be good, but interesting, interesting. I'm sure they're going to be good. This is crazy, though. Turn one, they're going to have, like, 100% <laughs> damage reduction, basically. That's what that's saying. About a million defense post super. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're greatly raising off the ultra, so. And no, again, I'm sure they're going to be great. I'm sure they're going to be great. Yeah, no, that's a really good line of text, though. So as long as they're attacking, literally, that's going to be nice. And then they are building up, so you give them some turns. It is nice uh, that they're this isn't within the turn, you know what I mean? So literally... Two or three turns later, they're going to be getting an additional 177 attack and defense. We got to keep that in mind as well. Yeah, no, they, they could look really good. They could look really good. We got to see them in-game before I say anything. Oh, and also, they do have an active skill. After performing four more attacks, super attacks, uh, defense plus 77. Oh, that's pretty nice. I'm sure these guys are going to be great. Let's be honest. The damage reduction that they're guaranteed every turn um, with this buildup. That you're pretty much going to see after two turns, right? Honestly. Uh, it should look pretty good. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to look really solid for sure. What are their teams and stuff? A 17 and a Frieza. Um, Joint Forces Universe 7. Battle of Fate, Battle of Wits. Very nice. Link Partners are interesting. MUI, obviously. <laughs> Broly Chili Lemo, let's go. Oh, and then the, the 17. Okay, who are we going to look at next? Yeah, all in all, I'm excited to see them in-game. I'm a little nervous, but I think they're going to look really good. I, I feel like I have just had bad experiences from not raising defense off super. But with how much else they're doing, it shouldn't matter too, too much. That's all it is. I've just had too many bad experiences where you're not raising defense off super. <laughs> and now, last easy A that we're looking at here is the 17 Team Universe 7, the MVP. Let's take a look at this. Uh, 177 attack and defense, key plus 1 up to 5, reduces damage received by 7 up to 35, and chance to crit up to 35 per universe 7 ally on the team, okay, so they're going to be a uh, universe 7 unit, plus an additional 77 and an additional 17% damage reduction and chance to crit when there are 5 or more universe 7 units on the team, okay. Randomly changes key spheres to rainbow when HP is below 77, oh that's just once, that sucks. Plus an additional 77 when HP, when key is 17 or more. And an additional 77 and launch an additional super when key is 22 or more. Ooh, nice. Straight up additional super. Uh, additional key plus 3 per rainbow. Ooh, nice. So they're going to have really good key. And an additional key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 7 for all allies, self-excluded. And chance to crit per rainbow. Ooh, nice. So you can give the team some really good buffs here. I hate that they put these on the bottom because I want to start with the supers. Um, Ultra, he is Mega Colossal Damage, raising allies attack and defense by 30, and chance of performing a crit by 7 for 2 turns. So real quick, again, I've, I, I always want to clarify this stuff because I don't know everything in this game, obviously. It says all allies self-excluded, so he's obviously not getting this. Does that mean he's getting this? 
Raises all allies attack and defense plus 30. It doesn't say excluded, or am I wrong in that? The MVP. He is getting it. Okay. Because if so, that's amazing. He's raising attack and defense. It is for one turn, though, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. But okay, that's good to know. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. That's on the super. That's for two turns. Nice. Uh, and then, but then on the super attack, he's massively raising attack. And allies attack and defense plus 30. Dude, that's crazy, bro. He's going to be giving the team some stupid stats, dude. That's really cool. Are you going to have him in first slot a lot? Probably not, right? But still, the pre the next turn, if anything, is going to look crazy, dude. Okay. And then when facing one enemy whose HP is 50% uh, or less, if there are more... Oh, that's right. You need a Universe 7 team to use this. Uh, greatly raises attack and causes ultimate damage. And all allies key plus 7. Let's go. Yeah, uh, he looks pretty good. He's going to be giving some stupid buffs to the teams, bro. Not going to lie, the, the anniversary units, I feel like, look a little bit more stupid. But I don't think that's surprising, right? They're anniversary EZAs. Uh, but, I mean, these guys don't look bad at all. Like, this Universe 7 team is going to look ridiculous. We just went from five units that I've never been able to use on Dokkan to five units <laughs> that are going to run uh, the game on a whole team together. It's going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be crazy. I, I feel like the Jiren's going to be the funnest to use. He's not going to be the best by any means. But, like, the damage you're going to see on that Jiren is going to be ridiculous, bro. Uh, but all in all, just seeing all these units together is going to be sick. Yeah, I mean, he's got really, really... You do got to run this guy on the full Universe 7 team, but he's going to be looking amazing on there, so... I wish he was just changing key spheres. Imagine... Imagine if this unit was just straight up changing key spheres. That would be so nice. But the turn he just does this will look really stupid. That's an interesting point. That's an interesting point. Uh, you could uh, not get the eight, the Ultra. Interesting, you could. What's interesting about the Ultra, though, is you're getting it for two turns instead of one. So that means that the buff comes around to you the following turn, right? But yeah, Universe 7 is going to be crazy, bro. STRUI, listen, man, you were fun while we had you. I think we have enough units, though, right? Um, oh, no, we could still throw them on the team if we wanted. We'll probably we'll, we'll probably have to. Oh, wait, no, no, I forgot. We have them. Never mind. Yeah, STRUI is not on the team anymore. Well, no, Universe 7, so Jiren's not on the Universe 7 team. Never mind. You could be on the team STRUI. Either way, very fire easy A's. Very fire event. W, JP, Dokon for dropping these and then giving them to us. <laughs> Thank you, Akatsuki. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that, bro. We, we've never gotten easy A's this soon, right? I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty crazy. Who knows what else is to come? With this happening, that means the, the sync is officially starting, right? In the better, better sense of the words, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, like, so who knows what else they drop before, before Worldwide. Is there a chance they drop a... What do you call it? A catch-up banner? Nah, there's no way. There's no way. Because they would have to put Roshi on that for it to make sense, and they're not going to do that. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're just going to get Topo. I think that's confirmed at this point, and then I think that's literally it. I think we're not going to get any other units that we're missing, unfortunately. But Worldwide will still be fire, so...